we begin round one. Tito, really good at cutting off the ring, not just G, who can apply pressure without throwing punches, knows that he frequently achieves a successful footwork laterally that I've ever seen. He cuts the ring off quick. Good up. And yet was not able to impose for him. And that's kind of what happened with Quadras last round. He did everything he wanted to do, but... And Quadras can punch. He can punch. Yeah, but we don't know those 26 guys. <laughs> we know who's in, who's in front of right now. A good hook. And continues to apply. I, I'm not used to seeing him apply this kind of almost frantic pressure. Because he's fought with him before. He knows him. He knows what's in front of him. Last fight. But I think Chocolatito understands that what he did against the Royals knocked his man out and he didn't look like the normal Chocolate. Because if you do, Quadras can become a problem with the matter of self-confidence. I mean, with the level of... Is well aware of the problems Chocolatito presents. Set Chocolatito as more than one observer has felt. And but he kept the same more aggressive attitude up. Rudy Hernandez. Everything that he knew. And then, along with the things he picked up on his own, better with time. So if he's not better than a grill, then there's something wrong with him. Well, he's right. I mean, here, as usual, he is taking a tremendous fighter, a world-class fuss, into every other opponent he's fought. That is, a guy who already, as much as good work as he's doing, wise yes. than I think a grill has ever been. And he has all the other tools that a grill possesses to man how to fight. Maybe the first, but let's find out. Harold Letterman, how have you? How do you have it after three? Okay, uh, Max, I've got a chocolate Tito land in the hardest shots, putting on the pressure. A very self-possessed fighter, super confident, really talented. <laughs> Julio Cesar Chavez Sr. The way he can throw it as a lead and effective. He can throw it anytime he gets ready, just like that. May sit him down, just coming in without defense like this. You're right, Chocolatito's the difference between him and Triple G. He says he bends at the waist a little more than Triple G. Tri oh, guys, you are going to oh, hit some, and he got hit just then. And he's landing the better shot. And he's literally wearing Quadras down. Off the proper footing is because if you do, if you throw a more traditional right hand, where even since the end of the third round, to my eye at least, good left. Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez. Ooh, nice slip. Good by the shot. Good. Next one, and goes right back on the attack. Now Padres being Padres. This combination by Padres. It was. Good right hand by the challenger. Really good body shot. The left hand by Chocolatito. And first and fifth were given to Quadras. Making this a close fight. See that? Yep. Quadras is not discouraged somehow. He's a star Roy and is not so ready to give up his belt. Not at all. Weight classes. He's 29 years old, 45 fights, and he's in. This is not something else that Roman Gonzalez is. He's doing what he usually does, and it usually lands against guys. But it's not letting him just pop. The problem with Quadras is he runs so much that he doesn't get his feet. Tito Gonzalez. I think I agree with you for a couple rounds earlier in the fight. I don't think he's been running recently. I think it's so happy to be alive and up and well at this point in this fight that he's taking a chance. Over it. There's swelling. His eye is closing. And, and, and the ref did come know. over between rounds and say that the cut was called for a punch, not a hit, but the class not give up on himself and put himself in a position now to be in a very Naoya Inoui considered by most scorecards Roy. I can too Max. A good shot by Chapatio. <laughs> Big is a relative term and it's relative here with these flyweight super Oh, good shot by Quadras. Boy, I saw a look on Chocolatito's face I am not used to seeing. I don't know if I've ever seen this eye that too. So yep. that would be a little bit of a confidence builder, but his corner told him. But both of them still seem to want to land hand shots because they were. 
It, it's, it's difficult to call the blow. Oh, good, bud. But... Badras with a, a three, four good right. Chapatito seemed to have Good hook, Roy. Yeah, seemed to have blow from the right ear. Oh, good tonight. Oh, good. Grants the two. Chocolatito Gonzalez. You know, he just lands the harder punches. He got running quite. There was some running earlier. Since then, I think. I've seen it, I think. In the old days, the championship rounds were 13, 14, and 15. Now they're 10, 11, and 12. And his stamina is excellent. Big left hand over the top, way in. This is one hell of a boxing match, a match Max. Long punches, short punches, these guys are really doing it, Max. Good thing to take a little wind out of Quadras' sails, but he can His Chocolatito knew he needed to be better than he was last time. Who does not know how to lose, so you gotta teach him how to lose, and that's not an easy back at it. Look at that. Look at that. And he comes back stronger than he was before it started, you know? Yes. <laughs> Same thing he did to Brian. He can continue to throw high volume combinations with himself in training camp. To get into the best. Oh, position good body shot. Can. Yes, oh, yes. Yep. That hurt. Yep. Quadras full of confidence in the fight idol and mentor Alexis Arguello was unable to do. I think Quadras and bring Chocolatillo down with him because if you do all this work and you don't bring Chocolatillo. And had his back on the ropes to end the 11th. There he comes now. Giving Chocolatito counter-punching opportunities, but all... Things of some, was it enough? Chocolatito!